Yeah. I like having fun. Put it that way. Go Steelers. I ain't mad at that. Go Steelers. Go Niners, baby. How you feel about that, Steeler fan? How you feel about that, huh? All right, I did pick nine this time because pick nine, uh, I've heard a lot of complaints about pick nine. Like, there's not good players after that. A lot of people don't know what to do after pick nine. So, I pick pick nine. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Doing another mock draft right here on Sleeper. If you want to see it live, head over to YouTube, Justin Henry Show. Drop a sub while you're there. Drop a sub while you're there. All right, at the ninth pick, there's I think there's a very clear top eight. CeeDee Lamb, Tyreek Hill, Christian McCaffrey, Jettas, Amon Ross St. Brown, Jamar Chase, B. John Robinson, and Brees Hall. I think those are the top eight. So after that, it gets a little shaky. You got your A.J. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, Taylor, Saquon. So you have to kind of decide what you want to do right there, and it's a really important pivot spot, I feel like. Personally, what I found is that I think you can find your receivers that you want a little bit later. I like taking your running back here, right? And it's kind of a reach, but I don't see why Saquon Barkley is not going to be a top five back this year. I like getting him at this value at pick nine. I do. I really like it. I don't mind taking A.J. Brown there. I don't mind taking Jonathan Taylor there. I think they both have good upside. But to me, Saquon Barkley in this Eagles offense, it could have a career year. See the questions coming in, guys. I got you. Uh, T. Higgins or Amari Cooper in two seconds in Dynasty. T. Higgins or Amari Cooper in two seconds. Uh, I probably, I probably take that Amari Cooper in two seconds. T. Higgins should still be good, but you get two seconds. Amari Cooper ain't that far off. T. Higgins. I don't know. T. Higgins goes to a new team next year, though. You're gonna be regretting that trade. Jamar or Gibbs? Give me Jamar. Jamar. I've done some mocks at six for a twelve man. I don't like it. All my players keep getting picked. Uh. Did you do that with live, with people live, or did you do that with uh, with other people? Did you do that with bots or live? So Marvin Kyron, Drake Lennon's up here. I kind of like Mike Evans here, bro. Where's Mike at? Mike's way down here. I like Mike here. I did this last time I took Drake Lennon. I was mad at myself because Mike Evans was still there. Where do you have Rashad White? Uh, High-end RB2 back in RB1. Jacobs or Henry? I personally like I personally like Henry a little bit more than Jacobs. I personally like Henry more than than Jacobs. You taking Mike Evans over Marvin Harrison Jr.? Why wouldn't I? Let me ask you that. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I take Marvin Harrison? Why would I take Marvin Harrison over over Mike Evans? Why? Give me a reason. Why would I take him? Mike Evans last year was what 1,300, 1,200 yards and in, in thirteen touchdowns, right? If my if my memory serves me correct, so. And he's been, I'm about to pull the numbers up just because now. So Mike Evans, Mike Evans last season was 79 catches, 100, uh, 1,255 yards, and 13 touchdowns. Why wouldn't I take, if Marvin Harrison got that, I think we'd all be shocked. Shocked if Marvin Harrison got that. We would all be shocked. For the ceiling, what's Marvin Harrison's ceiling? You, you think he's like 1,500 yards? Because I think, I mean, having a 1,300-yard ceiling, 13 touchdown ceiling is, that's great. Who you like? Uh, you like DK this year at the value 100%. Target share? Why, why would his target share be crazy, right? You still got Trey McBride in this offense. They drafted Michael Wilson last year in the third round. Check downs to go to James Conner, Trey Benson. It's not like, and, and to be honest, a lot of the receptions are going to go to Greg Dortch. A lot of the short yard slot stuff is going to go to him. So why are we just assuming that Marvin Harrison is going to be a 1,500-yard guy? Who else is going to be the guy in AZ? I mean, if Kyler throws for 4,000 yards, say Kyler throws for 4,000, I mean, it's going to be divvied up. Trey McBride is going to have 1,000 of it. We got Harrison. I'll give him 1,200 yards. Greg Dortch is going to see another 600 to 800 yards. You got James Conner off the backfield, another 300. You got Michael Wilson's probably going to have another six to 700. Are we at 4,000 right there? I just don't, I don't get it unless, unless we, unless we're just thinking Marvin Harrison is a lock for 1,300 plus yards. Why are we taking him over the, guy, the guys that already did it? Taking him over Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk was a 1,300 yard guy last year. You're just betting right now. You're betting that Marvin Harrison is going to be 1,300 plus. I think it's a bad bet. If you want to do that, you might as well take somebody else more secure for your fantasy team and just go bet 100 on Marvin Harrison beating that straight up because I think his total is at 1,000. 
His total's at 1,050. So you can go on Underdog, you can go on FanDuel, you can go on DraftKings, wherever, and just play the play the over. Play the over. You think CD should be going top three? 100% I do. Diggs or Cup? Those guys are going in a similar spot to me. I'd probably rather have Cup. Look what Kyler did with D-Hop. What did Kyler do with D-Hop? What did Kyler do with D-Hop? That's actually funny you said that. What did Kyler do with D-Hop? Post the stats of uh, Kyler with D-Hop. You'd actually be surprised. Uh, good to see you live, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Plum Strong. Oh, it's my pick right now. ETN is on the board. I've been avoiding ETN here. I'm still going to. Damn, y'all sniping already, huh? Debo just went. Mm, I'll go Rashad here. I don't love it, but I'll go Rashad here. I keep getting these Tampa players, bro. 1,500 of that 4K is going to Marvin Harrison. We'll see. Plum Strong, I appreciate that comment, bro. Bengals hat, did you lose a bet? Nah, I'd just be rocking different hats, bro. I'll be rocking different hats. Uh, will Mark Cooper be top 12? Hell nah. Hell no, nah, he won't be top 12. Last year, I thought he could have had a top 15 season, and he didn't. Thoughts on Smitty? He's being undervalued. He's being undervalued. Why is his ADP rising a lot? Because a lot of people are expecting, like, think about it. It's the new player syndrome. We do this all the time. It's the new player syndrome when, when, when we have a player we haven't seen in a while and or that's really hyped, a lot of times we go and we're like, yo, this player is going to come in and tear the roof off. Look at what X player did in years before that, right? Last year, Bijan Robinson, we did the same thing. Oh, go top 10 Bijan because look what Saquon Barkley did when he was supposed to be the best running back, generational prospect coming out. Oh, uh, grab uh, um, last year, grab Calvin Ridley. When new quarterbacks go with Trevor, blah, 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 they put up these numbers and he was top five. It's the new toy syndrome. So we haven't had, you've, you've never had the opportunity to draft Mark Harrison. So to say, oh, I got him in his rookie year when he went for 1,500 yards, a lot of people just value that, which is kind of crazy to me. A lot of people just want to say that they were the person, dude, this draft already, I'm messing up. I got two Tampa Bay players and two Philly players. Slacking, slacking, JN. Um, but that's what a lot of people want to say. They want to say, I drafted Marvin Harrison, so when he goes off, you can reap the benefits of that. More so than even they care about winning their league. So I think that's why people go off. If he hits, I'll win. The same reason why I talked about Devin Achan earlier. Same reason why people go with Achan in the second round. Will Devontae Adams age catch up to in the season, or will he still produce elite numbers? I'm not betting against Devontae Adams. If you want to, go ahead. But he's elite. Why would he fall off? Did he show you something last year that indicated he was going to fall off? Nah. So, like, that's that's where I'm at with with, Devon, uh, with Devontae Adams. Until he shows me something that I'm like, eh, I think he's going to fall off. What's the point? Does my team make you scream? Will it be the first six rating you've ever given? Yeet, man, where's your team at, bro? Where's your team at? You got CD Lamb, Kyron, and Achan. We'll see. It always depends on how you finish a draft, but yeah, I ain't feeling Kyron and Devon Achan, two and third pick. Yo, JM, we got to set up a date for ESPN Fantasy Mock Draft. Run it next Wednesday. Is that cool with you? Uh, I might be able to swing it. I might be able to swing it next Wednesday. Let me see. And since you requested it, and I know you've been asking for that ESPN mock, I'll try to make that happen on next Wednesday. All right, but I'll try to make that happen. I never like having an RB and wide receiver one for the same team. So yes and no, right? I don't typically, I don't hunt it, but at the same time, it does kind of make you a little bit more uh, balanced, right? Like last year, if you had Tyreek Hill, oh shit. Why is this thing unable to verify? If you had Tyreek Hill and Raheem Mostert, you weren't complaining. If you had Jamar Chase and Joe Mixon, you weren't complaining. If you had um, Christian McCaffrey and Brandon Ayuk, you weren't complaining. If you had... Um, CD Lamb and Tony Pollard. Maybe you're complaining a little bit about Tony Pollard, but not a whole lot. Um, there's plenty of wide Jameer Gibbs and Amon Ross St. Brown. Um, there's plenty of pairings in good offenses that have players that perform well. That's why you draft those guys. So I get it, it kind of limits your upside, but at the same time, if the team scores four touchdowns and those are the two best players on the team, chances are you're getting two or three of them. Like that's how I think about it. So I don't think it's the end of the world if you have Puka Nakua and Kyrie. Like, good offenses produce results. So it's not a matter of, you know, 
avoiding it. It's just not the preference, I would say. ETN, Jacobs, Henry, rank them. Uh, off the top of my head, Jacobs and Henry are in the same tier. Maybe I take Henry before Jacobs. Henry, Jacobs, then ETN. I'm from Ohio, but a Niners fan. Salute to you, Brody. Name any player in any song for edit. Any player in any song for edit. Give me Mike Evans and give me give me some boss man D -Lo with, with Mike Evans. Some boss man D -Lo. If it don't work with boss man D -Lo, then run run one of my songs. Uh, if you can, if you can make the edit work, run one of my songs. It's in my, uh, in my bio. You can see it. I have a whole, a whole list. No, 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 no. Run one with Marvin Harrison Jr. And do my song called the 101 on there. The 101. It's called the 101. It's on Spotify, Apple music. Look up AT if you can't find it. A-T-A-Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E. It might, it's not going to go viral, but if you ask me what I want, that's what I want. Otherwise, make that shit go viral. Do what you want with it. And that's probably the most long-winded answer you could have used for a damn edit. Hill is one of the safest players. Yes, I agree. I think Marvin is more reliable than a rookie running back because he comes in as the number one receiver on his team with a good quarterback. Mm, uh, I will address this. Give me the, let me get this off real quick. God damn it, bro. Y'all killing me right now. Y'all killing me right now. All right, let's get Amari. I don't like Amari. I keep taking Amari here. Amari Cooper it is. Arthur Smith ruined Bijan's rookie year, and that's not his fault. Did he, though? Did he? Bijan had a decent rookie year. It just wasn't what we were expecting. It was He didn't live up to our expectations. Not mine. Our. I'm going to say our, but it's not our expectations he didn't live up to. April, April May, June. Uh, dude, J.J. McCarthy. What? You like Puka or Garrett Wilson better? Garrett Wilson slightly. You like Marv at the one-two turn? Absolutely not. I probably won't have any shares of Marvin Harrison this year. Round three, Mike, DK, or other? Mike Evans. What do you think about AR's value this year? It's only going to go up, man. Only, only going to go up. Only going to go up. So, damn, I wanted to make – I think Marvin is more reliable than a rookie running back because he comes in as a number one receiver on his team. I think this is kind of short-sighted. I'm not going to lie to you, Christopher, because we've seen plenty of wide receivers who come in as the number one receiver, supposedly on their team, and not perform. I'm not saying Marvin Harrison's not going to perform. Don't Please don't take that the wrong way. But to expect Marvin Harrison to be a 100 yards per game type receiver, I think is just asking a lot of them. We've seen plenty of receivers who are good in the game now take a while to get going. Like, say Marvin struggles with – uh, coverage is out the gate, right? You start you you going against number one corners. They know he's the number one receiver. I think it's easy to look back at what Jettas did, what Jamar Chase did, but that's not always the case, you know. And Kyler's a great quarterback. I'm sure he's going to get him the ball, but Kyler's also the kind of quarterback that will scramble on his own. He'll also use his running backs. He'll also check down to a Greg Dorch. He used Trey McBride heavily in the second half last year. I just don't know that we're getting 1,500 yards out of Marvin, and that's kind of the range. If you're taking him there, you're thinking he can get 1,510, 1,410. Like, you think he's going to beat out A.J. Brown production or be close to it. That's just too high for me, man. So he's good, but as a lock, I'm just not – I'm not – you have to take, like, a lock at that position. There's too many question marks. Oh, shit, I wish I could – can I move? The, uh, let's do this. Hold on a second. Turn off auto pick. And then I'm going to pick real quick. Don't pick. All right. So definitely wouldn't take Godwin anyway. Oh, he's here? Oh, Ridley it is. So, yes. So I like Marvin. I like Marvin as a player. I'm just not ready to crown him as a top 10 wide receiver to start the year. Thoughts on Pittman? He'll be a good value. A lot of people are fading him because of Anthony Richardson. He'll be fine. On DraftKings, Best Ball Millie Maker, you got St. Brown and Bijan around. How'd you get Bijan around two, bro? How'd you get Bijan around two? If you're here for the first time, do not make it the last time. Make sure you follow the page, sub to the YouTube. We do, uh, we'll be doing mock drafts. Rankings are coming soon. Best Ball drafts, if you want to get in them, are coming very soon. Uh, there's a lot. 
there's a lot here. All right. So if you're looking for advice during your fantasy league, week one, week two, start them, sit them, um, waiver wires, trade advice, you name it. Make sure you follow the page while you're here. All right. Bengals Super Bowl ain't no way. Arthur kept giving the ball to Tyler Algier. I mean, dude was a thousand yard back the, the year before that. He was good. You think neighbors is a better value than MJ, MHA? Now, I kind of don't like all the rookie receivers this year, but if I had to pick a value out of one of them, it probably would be. See, I go to like Brian Thomas, Brian Thomas Jr., Keon Coleman. I'm taking one way later than earlier. Way later than earlier. Good point, bro. Makes sense. I'm not sure what we were talking about, but probably Marvin Harrison. Those are two videos I got to get out. Marvin Harrison was one. And then who was I ranting on earlier? I was ranting on somebody else earlier. Who was it? Who else was I ranting about earlier? I was ranting about somebody else. Who was it? Mike Evans is the fifth round keeper of steel. I think so. What do you think about 111? Garrett Wilson, Nakua, DJ Moore, Pacheco. I'm not feeling it, but it won't be a bad team. Who the fuck was I ranting about earlier? Where can I find your 101 song? It's called 10. Look for A T A Y T E E. Can I type it out? There you go. That's it right there. I'm on the song too. It's on that album. If you find anything else on that, anything from that album, you can use if you like it. If you don't like it, use a different song. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Don't sleep on Jaden Daniels. Yes, I like Jaden Daniels a lot this year. Smitty, DK, or Keenan Allen. I got DK out of that bunch. Keenan Allen's probably next in Smitty. And I got to I gotta go through ADPs because I feel like I'm missing players in the draft sometimes that I could be getting. So like, I think I missed Keenan Allen earlier, and I would have rather had him over Devontae Smith. I don't mind Devontae Smith, but they're all similar tier to me. I might have rather took Keenan Allen over Smith. I got to go through my rankings. I got to go through them. He's being drafted after AJB and sometimes before Diggs. I think he can get 1,200 yards or more catches than Mike Evans. That's why I would take him before those guys. To me, he's a wide receiver nine. Hey, I got no issue with your rankings. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you got to draft players you like. So I just think he's one of those players. You go into a draft thinking, I have to get Marvin Harrison. You're going to overpay for him. That's where I think it comes down to. And it's not a matter of do I like the player. I think he'll be a phenomenal player. It's just the value at where you're getting him, to me, is not – it's not matching up. It's not. How you feel about Titans offense this upcoming season? Underrated. I talked about it. I think they're going to be underrated like Tampa was last year with Evans, Godwin, Rashad White, Baker. I think the Titans offense is that this year. Or like the Texans, if you want to say like the Texans offense with Nico, Tank, um, uh, and C.J. Shroud, Schultz. Wicks, Dontavian Wicks. Why you like Dontavian Wicks? James Cook or Mixon? Give me Mixon. JT RB1 upside? I see it. I do. I see RB1 upside for, J for JT. He's got to stay healthy. Can you rate teams after? Yes, I will rate teams. I will rate teams after. Is Walker in the a fourth round back? It's kind of looking like he's going to go in the fourth round. I think, he, I think it's a good spot for him, though, in the fourth round. We were taking him last year at top 15, so... Thoughts on Troy Franklin has good upside if Bo Nix is a starter, and I think they drafted him because they trust him. So he's a good late round dart throw. You can get rid of him early if uh, if he doesn't produce. I don't like Diggs. I don't think Diggs did anything special last year. I love all the fantasy combos, by the way. It's all always all love. Just because we have a difference of opinion, it's always all love. I appreciate the support, and I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people think they have to follow the fantasy creator who's right more than they follow like somebody for just good advice or entertainment sometimes. So, and I think you have, they, people think they have to unfollow if somebody did them dirty. And I'm like, I ain't going to hit on every pick. You guys are going to be right about stuff. I'm just going to be right about a lot more. That's nah. But me, my goal is to help you look at fantasy a different way, become better fantasy players, and then get you advice when you need it throughout the season to try to win your league. That's it. So a fantasy combo can go one or two ways in the off season, man. I'm probably going to be more 50-50 on my takes than, you know what I'm saying? Like, but during the season is when, when I think I provide the most value.
this is this is more entertainment spot for me. The off season. At least as far as like driving views and shit. Uh what running backs are here right now? Chubb, Jalen Warren, Zach Moss. Let's get tired. Uh let's get Brian Robinson down here. Might have been a little early for him, but uh, I'm a Tennessee fan. Do we think anyone thrives in this offense? Calvin Ridley and Tony Pollard should both be phenomenal in that in that offense. I thought you said one on one. No, I said one oh one. I know it's it's all good. If it comes, hey, let me know. Tag me in it. Let me know how it comes out, bro. I appreciate you. But yeah, Mike's my either Mike Evans or like Najee Harris would even be dope or something. I don't care. I don't care. Mike's my guy though. Mike is my guy. Y'all remember that video I did last year? I don't know if you guys remember it. The video I did last year, Mike Mike Evans versus Tyreek Hill. It went crazy week one. People thought I was tripping. But, but therein lies my thought process, right? You guys think my do you guys think Mike Evans is the top 20 receiver of all time? Do you guys think that? Top 20 receiver of all time. Is that is Mike Evans the top 20 guy of all time? We think about pick seven. I'll go over all the teams here in a second. Walker's a fifth rounder. I'm not mad at that. In our draft, he went fifth round. Yeah. Yeah, it's a steal. I think he's a, a steal in the fifth. Monty in the seventh, good value. People are taking Evan Ingram over Kittle. Is it because of age? No, it's it's solely because of what he did last season towards the end of the year. That's literally the only reason why. I don't understand it, but Kittle to me, Kittle's consistently a top five tight end. Consistently. No matter how he gets his points, he's top five every year. I don't know why we're fading him. He's going like tight end eight, tight end seven. Is Burrow worth keeping at five or four? No, no, not a one QB league. Absolutely not. Chargers receive uh, who day, a lot of who day in the comments. Shout out to the Bengals fans in the chat. Chargers receivers, uh, Chargers receivers. I'm off all the Chargers receivers. Maybe I'll take a dart throw on Quentin Johnson in a deeper league. What do you think about Ramondre after his payday? Ramondre, we got to step it up with Ramondre. He's, I'm probably going to re, I'm going to rank him higher than I was anticipating. I thought they would move on from him, but they gave him a four year deal. Pretty good money. I, I am going to put him a little bit higher than I did last year. Opinion on Chubb, he's got to get healthy. We got to see him on the field. I think it's a committee either way. I don't think he's a late season winner. He doesn't really catch the rock. The team has two other backs they sign. I don't really see the same thing everybody else does with Nick Chubb. And you got to hold him on IR for, Probably a good four to six weeks at least. I got Keenan Allen, Cooper Cup, DK, and Terry McLaurin in the same draft lineup. Holy shit, you did? Oh, that's not on here. That's a that's a crazy lineup. That's a crazy lineup. What's good, Austin? You ain't got to spam the chat, homie. Going to need your help again? You already know, Brody. Going for the three-peat? We going to get it, too. We going to get it. Yeah, you ain't got to spam it, bro. You think Higgins bounces back? Of course I do. I think I think he does. I think T. Higgins bounces back. Mike's top 20 of all time. No doubt he's one of the most consistent wide receivers ever. Yeah, I think he's top 20. You a Bengals fan? Man, I need to just have that in the chat right there, huh? So y'all can see it. I just like, I got a lot of, I, I bro, I got hella hats. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hat guy, so. Biggest fade in every draft, Laporta. I'm not mad at that. That's actually a really good fade. That's a good fade. Thoughts on Jonathan Brooks? I think Jonathan Brooks is being overdrafted too. I think Jonathan Brooks is being overdrafted. Thoughts on Ayuk this year? I don't see why he wouldn't produce another top top 15 fantasy season. I mean, he's going to be 1,300 yards, eight touchdowns, 80 catches, and it wouldn't surprise me if they got him more involved this year. So I like Ayuk where he's going. Middle to the end of the second round, that's a steal. I messed up in the middle rounds badly watching my Pirates lose. All good. Don't trip. That's why it's a mock. That's why it's a mock. We ain't all the way locked in yet. Shout out to the Bengals fans in the chat. PBR Dynasty, I traded Marvin Harrison and Jefferson for CD and St. Brown. Hell yeah, that's a good deal. Good job. Good job. You think JJ is the best? Oh, shit, it's my pick. I'm about to get auto-picked again. We got, let's go, Chuba. I have no clue why I just did that. I still need a quarterback and a tight end. 
Sorry, we're going to get a quarterback and a tight end after this. First season, listening to you, won two leagues out of four. I never would doubt you. Yeah, did I mean? Hey, Kelly in the building. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, man. That's a West Coast. That's a Cali thing. You feel me? Damn. Cali in the chat is always a good thing. Y'all got y'all watch that Kendrick, the Kendrick live performance, bro. I was turned up that whole performance, man. I messed up in the middle rounds badly watching my Pirates lose. Uh, Ayuk or Cup? I like Ayuk better than Cup this year. Ayuk over Cup. I think Tyreek Hill also top 20 all time. No, Tyreek Hill for sure is top 20 all time. Tyreek and Mike Evans are both top 20 guys all time. <laughs> they giving away <laughs> free Bengals hats. <laughs> now, nah, this you don't like the hat with the B? I feel like that shit's dope. I think Kyron and Rashad both be, continue being RB1s. I think they're both risky RB1s. Wouldn't surprise me to see either one of them be more RB2-ish this year. Nash, man, was popping. Was popping. Bay Area, stand up. Let's go. Eighth pick, you got Josh Allen, Taylor Harris, Adams, Ayu, Cooper, and Ingram. Bench is Hollywood, Gus, and Chubb. I'm not mad at that. Are you in this draft? You're not in this draft. I thought you were in this draft. So you took Taylor, Najee, Devontae. I think you reached on Taylor a little bit, but I'm not too mad at it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Dynasty, what are we doing at 102? Uh, you already got Stroud. Uh, Superflex, just grab, grab J you can grab Jaden Daniels and have upside. You got Bryce. You, you need another quarterback in case Bryce don't pan out. I would say Caleb. Caleb or Jaden Daniels? Probably Caleb. Caleb's safer. Caleb Safer. You know what? I'm going to mix it up. I've been going Jaden Daniels or Brock Purdy and Jordan Love pretty much in a lot of these drafts. I'm going to take another guy I think could have a really nice finish. I'm actually going to make him – this is going to be one of my hot takes. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is going to be one of my hot takes. Y'all hear that very soon. Very soon. Thoughts on Pat Fryermuth Could pan out. I'm not I'm not overly excited about it, but there's upside. I'll say this. There's upside with Fryermuth, especially in like your 16-team leagues. I think there's upside there. CBS bad app. Yeah, we don't know. We don't. We ain't ever doing CBS on here, bro. CBS is terrible. That the worst one is the NFL app. I swear that has to be the worst. The NFL app for being NFL fantasy, it's literally the worst app possible. That it's it's fucking ass. Baltimore B would look better, isn't it? The Ravens. Baltimore is the R, right? Isn't it the R on their logo, or is it the B? First time catching you live this offseason. Yeah, I've been on. Hey, hit the hit the uh hit the YouTube, Nash man. Hit the YouTube. I'll be on there. Now we can set notifications on. Hats are fascist. I don't even know what fascist means, bro. College educated. I don't I, I don't remember what fascist means. So Swift running for 1300. God, why would Swift run for 1300 yards? Another Bengals fan down bad. Come on, Brody. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he said, I messed up and told my buddy about you, and he beat me in three different leagues last year, so never again. <laughs> oh, man, bro. That's the problem, man. I'm trying to help as many people as possible, but it's like I think people don't like sharing or liking my shit because it's like they don't want to show up on their friends' feeds. I, we'll take it for what it is. Th thoughts on Saquon? Uh, Saquon could be a top two running back, top two running back in the league. It's a B, brother. Put some respect on our name. Loving the content. Can't wait for August. I'll look for a Baltimore Ravens hat now. Next, next time I go to the store, I'll take a look for a Baltimore hat. Or if you want to donate to the hat fund, you want to buy me a hat, I don't know how to do it, but shit. Venmo, cash up. You can cash at me something. <laughs> yes, sir. That was my comment on the vid. Keep an eye out for T-Law. Yeah, T-Law's -Law's, going to be nasty. I'll put some respect on it. B, I got to pull up the Baltimore logo when we're done. I thought it was an R for some reason. But now you say it's a B, it makes sense. NFL app is too buggy and slow. NFL app is, is terrible. We got to gatekeep your intel, Brody. I ain't mad at that. A lot of people hate, hey, a lot. Of, I have a lot of haters out there too. So I don't know why you can hate me. Yeah, maybe, maybe you hate me. I, you know, I guess maybe I can see why. I probably fucked a lot of people over. There's probably some people who are like, this guy has absolutely no clue what he's talking about, which is fine. But for the people that like winning their leagues, you play long game, that's the reason y'all stick around. I already know. 
I already know. I'm all over the YouTube. All right, bet, Nashman. I got you. Drafting first in a 10-man non-PPR, CMC or Brian Robinson. Uh, B. John Robinson. I don't know why I said Brian. Uh, CMC. I think you got to go CMC here. Brown fans here. What's good, Brody? What's happening, JKB? I didn't tell anyone about Jay Han. I made a fantastic run after starting 0-5. Made the playoffs because of you. Yo, Galaxy in the building. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you, Brody. I don't know who that was, but thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, Sleeper is the best app. Absolutely it is. Fantasy Goat, take care, my brother. I'm out. Mr. Crank, appreciate you, bro. Steelers hat? If the Steelers hat is dope, I'll rock, I'll rock any hat. I'll rock any hat. A hat is a hat. I ain't tied to the, These teams don't got, they not rocking Justin Henry swag, so. Mm, somebody snagged Luke Musgrave already? God damn. I'll take Dalton Schultz again. I'll take Dalton Schultz again. Thoughts on Kyron? Too, too risky for me. Too risky. Towards the Ravens hat? Bet. I see you, Mr. Nice. M. Nice, I got you. I got you. I'll, let me see what I can find. I'll see what I can find. I appreciate that. You didn't need to do that, but I appreciate you. Thoughts on Jelani Woods has a lot of upside. A lot of upside, but you don't have to draft him. He could be like a guy you get later on in your draft, or if you're in a super deep league, more of a guy to watch. Uh, and I think he could be a sleeper this year. I do think Jelani Woods could be a sleeper, big sleeper. Dynasty leagues, I'd be trying to acquire him for like, if I get him for a fourth in some leagues, depending on how your league trades, or like if you have somebody at the back end of your bench you don't care about, I'd be trying to find a way to get Jelani Woods. I'd be trying to find a way to get Jelani Woods. Imagine the NFL fantasy 80 people. For, for fun, we're going to do an NFL fantasy mock. Just for fun. Just for fun. We're going to do it. And if it's too buggy, we're all just going to quit at the same time. You get your hats from Lids or a certain website? Yeah, so I go to Lids. New Era or Lids. Those are the only places I get hats. Lids has everything. All right, I'm going to rate the teams in just a second. Better receiver, Brian Thomas or Malik Neighbors? I think at the value, Brian Thomas. Thoughts on A-Chan? I, I did a rant on A-Chan earlier. I'll post a video on it. Too much risk to be taken in the second round. Uh, Niner Empire in the house was good. Hoping Nick Chubb bounces back. He will. He will. I just don't know if it's next year, but I just want to see him on the field. I don't care about how he does fantasy-wise. Nick Chubb's the kind of player I just want to see on the field. Bengals will finish fourth, sadly. Would not surprise me. Keeper, Bo Melton or Isivas, uh Andre, I, can't, I forgot how to say his last name, but probably Bo Melton. He just has more upside. Either way, find somebody else. Where's CJ Stroud falling? Like fourth, fourth through sixth round, depending on your draft. Keeping Puka and Collins this year? I ain't mad at that. Best available or go with the plan? Always, always best available. Always. Bijan Amon Ra or Chase at the 107. Uh, I like St. Brown, then Chase, then Bijan, but any of them are good picks. In half point PPR, I might lean Bijan a little bit more. Even though ESPN isn't the best, I'll be getting mad steals on most of my leagues on Sleeper. Oh, you're saying you do most of your leagues on Sleeper, but yes, you can find steals on ESPN on these other apps because it, it's their, their ADP is terrible. Favorite tight ends to pick in the later rounds? Uh, I like getting Schultz right now. He seems to be a player I keep getting. Dallas Goddard is another one I like getting. So, Is most of the steal? Yes, most of it is a steal. Justin, I'm struggling to keep uh, with keeping Brees or Bijan. What do you think? I think Bijan is a safer, and then you could keep him again. Brees just, if he doesn't get the pass catching work, you're going to be, I would say, if Brees doesn't get the pass catching work, there's no chance he finishes as the RB1. Bijan for sure is going to get a high workload this year. He's the offense in Atlanta. So I would take Bijan over Brees. Near real drafts, you should do a video on steals for different apps. Okay, I can do that. Only if you say you like my song, bro. You said not on the song last time, Ulysses. You got to say you, you fucking with the music. Otherwise, I ain't doing shit for you, bro. Different app, ADP. Otherwise, I ain't doing a thing for you, homie. I got you. I got you. All right, let me rank these teams real quick. Now, I'll put that video out. Yeet Man. <laughs> Yeet Man with CeeDee Lamb, Kyron, Devon Chan in the third, Tank Dell, Trey McBride, uh, Hollywood Brown, Joe Burrow, Jerome Ford, Brian Thomas, Chase Brown, and Dotson. The only thing with young teams is that you have to have your players hit. And there's, you know, there's, there's some good players on this team, and it's a really young team. 
but it's a it's a solid upside team, I'll say. You just you have a pretty low floor too. I'll get this one like a 7.4. 7.4. Tyreek Hill, Nico Collins, Cooper Cup, Lamar Jackson, and Andrews with Zamir White, David Montgomery as your running backs, Jalen Warren and Jalen Wright. Uh, you got Deontay Johnson as your fourth receiver, Tyler Lockett. I'm not really feeling this team. I like to pick up, I like your receivers. I think you do you have a good top heavy lineup. If your guys hit, you have a little bit of upside, but after Mark Andrews, I don't really see a whole lot of like you didn't get a whole lot of value to me. I kind of like Zamir White there. Dave Montgomery should be solid. Just not a whole lot of like pure upside. I give it seem like a 7.8. Q, you got McCaffrey, Ayuk, Jacobs, Jalen Hurts, Zay Flowers, Jaden Reed, Evan Ingram, Keon Coleman, Gus Edwards, uh TJ Hawkinson, and then Cortland Sutton. Receivers are solid. Could use a little upside at receiver. You got good running back play. Tight end's good. This is a solid team. If Zay Flowers can play like a wide receiver too, I think you're solid. Give me – I'll give this one a 7.82. I feel like there's better teams coming. Jefferson, Diggs, and Higgins with uh, Jameson Williams. You got Alvin Kamara, Joe Mixon, Tony Pollard, George Kittle. Good value on this team, bro. I like the Brock Bowers pick, but this is still a solid team. This is like 8.2. I like this team a lot. Jefferson, Diggs, Higgins with Kamara, Mixon, and Pollard, and Kittle, and Dak. Good job. Uh, Jay Aguire, you got ARSB, St. Brown, Derrick Henry, Pittman, Keenan Allen, and Terry McLaurin with James Cook, Mostert, and Spears, Jordan Love, Luke Musgrave. This is a really good team, bro. Got good upside here. Um, you got balanced attack here with the running backs. So if James Cook doesn't work out, you got Spears for upside. You got Mostert for floor. Got McLaurin or Keenan Allen as your third, fourth receiver with Jordan Love. And you got a nice little stack there with Romeo Dobbs, Musgrave. Good job. Uh, I give that one an 8.2. 8.2. Bijan Olave, neighbors, Rashi Rice, Troy Franklin, the receivers are ass on this team. Not ass, but not ideal. Josh Allen, uh, Don Kincaid, Najee Harris, Zach Moss, Ty Chandler. I'm not feeling this team, Hunter. I, I like getting Najee where you did. You just got a big question mark with neighbors. Another big question mark with Rashi Rice if he gets suspended for six to eight games. Another question mark with Franklin. Curtis Samuel might be your second most consistent receiver on the team. Uh, I'm not feeling this lineup. And you got Josh Allen and Kincaid. I'm not really feeling this team. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this is like a 7.5. It's better than Yeet Man's. Chase, Marvin Harrison, Romo Dunze, Adani Mitchell, a lot of rookie receivers, Sam Laporta, CJ Stroud, Kenneth Walker, DeAndre Swift, Nick Chubb, Zach Charbonnet. So question marks at receiver to me. Harrison, Odunze, and uh, Adani Mitchell, AD Mitchell. What if one of these guys, what if two of these guys look like rookies, two of them. If two of them just look like rookies, you're in trouble. And your running backs are Walker and Swift, which are good. If Chubb comes back, you'll be solid there. And then you took Laporta and David Njoku. No need to take two tight ends in this kind of draft. Um, I think this is like a 7.8 to me. B-ball player, London, Samuel, Pickens, Godwin, JSN with Brees Hall, Aaron Jones, Javante Williams, Zeke, and Goddard with Jaden Daniels. This is a good team. This is like an 8.3 to me, dude. Got good upside there with Brees Hall, Pickens if he hits. Uh, solid value with Aaron Jones. Javante Williams is your RB2. You could use a little bit of upside at running back later on, but to me, this is a solid team, bro. Uh, this looks like the best team so far, 8.3. Between this and Aguirre so far. Uh, my team, I think my team is solid. I probably could use more upside at running back later on. I got too many players on the same team, though. I'll give my team like an 8.1. Saquon, Mike Evans. Rashad White, Devontae Smith, Mari Cooper, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins, Brian Robinson, Chuba Hubbard, Trevor Lawrence, Dalton Schultz. I'll give it like 8.1. 8.1. Uh, B, B, is that B Nash or B Hash? B Hash, uh, Jameer Gibbs, Devontae Adams, Travis Etienne, DK Metcalf, Kyle Pitts, Christian Kirk, Kyler Murray, Christian Watson, Devin Singletary, Blake Quorum, and Mike Williams. I think towards the end of your draft, it's got a little weak, but everything above Christian Watson, I like. Uh, it gives you upside and floor. I would give this an 8.1. Garrett Wilson, Puka Nakua, DJ Moore, Isaiah Pacheco, Ramondre Stevenson, Jonathan Brooks, Trey Benson, Ferguson, Mahomes, Addison, Xavier Leggett. Uh, I feel like this round, everybody you took was like a round earlier than I probably would like them. But it's solid talent. Like Pacheco and Stevenson should both be RB2-ish. 
Uh, Garrett Wilson, Nakua, DJ Moore, all wide receiver twos are better. Addison probably has a nice – where you got him at's decent. Brooks has some upside late. Benson has some upside late. This is like a 7.8 to me. 7.8. Holly's got A.J. Brown, Jonathan Taylor, Waddle, Kelsey, Anthony Richardson, James Conner, Xavier Worthy, Eckler, Brock Purdy, Lad McConkey, and then Jacoby Myers. I think early on I really love this draft. Uh, you started reaching, I think, for players here. Xavier Worthy, you needed a better third receiver, a more locked-in third receiver. Like Jacoby Myers will probably end up starting for you early on in the year. And then I like getting Eckler here at the value. Instead of another quarterback, though, I get you're probably trying to pair a same quarterback with Anthony Richardson. I would have waited and got like a, a Herbert or somebody else later on. I think I would have taken another positional player right here, and I would have felt much better about this lineup, especially because you got Worthy and McConkey as uh, as rookies in this lineup. So overall, it's not bad, though. I give it a – this is like an eight, solid eight. 